Yo guys, welcome to the last lap. Don't forget to drop a lovely juicy five star rating if you're watching an Apple podcast or Spotify. Hope you enjoy and let's get into it. But hey, like, what, what can you do? Like, how do you stop them? Because they've got a great engine. Their aero is great. Their DRS is great. That car is like, rapid in a straight line. Their tire mate. deck is great. Yeah. They can run the car super low to the floor. Operating windows. Operating windows Mad wide. Dive. Doesn't yeah. matter if it's a street circuit or mm. if it's Bahrain or like whatever. Like, it is scary. And it's also like, like it's just it's, sick. You know when yeah. you, you, they, they're like, we, we see Max isn't really pushing at the start, like we're sitting yeah. having a continental breakfast. <laughs> um, if he appears to be too far ahead, that only gives more weight to yeah. nerf him. Yeah. Yeah. So he kind of yeah. has to like yeah. chill out a little bit and be yeah. like, I'm winning, but I'm not winning by too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, it's only two seconds left. Yeah. 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 You know, if, if you're gap in the field by what we've seen 20 30 seconds yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you can turn the engine down a little bit and you save a little bit of wear on so you're gonna that's gonna pay dividends in the long term because you're less likely to have engine issues yeah. but we know the alpha towery has the same engine and it's not yeah it, it, it's yeah it's, it's trash you know what yeah, i mean it's yeah, right in the back yeah. so hey, alpha that, that car, shit. yeah that car's just <laughs> aero aero's always yeah. been f- good red with like red bull yeah like always. they've always been nailing aero it's been like they were stuck with those renault renault engines for ages and then yeah. initially the honda engines weren't great and it's like yeah that that's the thing it's it's i get it i get it i understand it it's frustrating like if you if you eliminate red bull from from these first three races what a championship we are because <laughs> everyone's yeah. like everyone's getting it like points like yeah. ev- everyone's got potential for points like we've the got battle these for seconds great you've got aston ferrari and mercedes relatively equal. yeah yeah, but you Depends know what? Track, and then you've got the fucking rest is just a yeah. free for all. And if it's if it's pure entertainment, then sure. But it's it's sport, and, mm. and part of it is that this happens in sport. This most most seasons, if you look in the last twenty years, like most seasons have been like back to back championship wins mm-hmm. for like teams like oh, so yeah. obviously yeah. Mercedes with obviously Rosberg getting his one as well. It's got mm-hmm. like eight years in a row, whatever it was. Um, constructors like Red Bull four years in a row constructors obviously Braun had that one off but that was very unusual circumstances you had a bit of like 2007-8 you had a few different like jumping around but then it was Ferrari before that Renault a couple of years but it's like it always seems to come in clusters and it was fine last year when Ferrari were just as if not quicker than Red Bull at the start of the season but like they've they've dropped the bomb. Like they, they, they fucked up. Like Ferrari. Leclerc's yeah. tenth in the championship. I mean, Leclerc was like Leclerc was unlucky today to get yeah, but get, get caught out. Wasn't he even was, that high up anyway. He was, he was science, eighth at the time. I'm science sure, made some moves through, and then science makes a f- fucking mistake again, which is not it's not the first time he's done this. Like no. Australia last year, he just spun it in the gravel. Australia, on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I was going to say Imola, but that was uh, Ricardo's yeah. fault. Wasn't no, you it? just spun it on the gravel, didn't uh, you? Yeah. Through the quick... Yeah, is that, right, yeah, yeah. and I think... <clears throat> I, I, look, I'm just looking at the standings now. You know, we're in a situation where Red Bull are the only team in triple figures. I think they're like 50-something points ahead. So maybe 48. Yeah. So, like, it's, it's just like... I, like, look, Red Bull fans will say they've had to eat shit for like eight years prior to 2021. Yeah, where they facts. were, yeah. you know, they they you know they had a shit engine. Their their team probably didn't nail, you know, the regulations as well as they probably could have or whatever. And like Mercedes, did. Max and Daniel crashing into each other. Max and Daniel crashing, yeah. like yeah, you long, know, what I mean? like they, day. you know, they they would say they had to eat that. And like you know, we're at a situation now where, you know, from 2021 they've had a competitive car. I, how many times have you, could you say that Red Bull have dropped? Like a strategy blunder, like rarely. Yeah, not they're solid, like, aren't they? They're solid. Literally, Brazil like, last year was like the only time. Yeah, right. And, and that know, gets forgotten because they've built up a good track record. Yeah. If that's yeah. Ferrari, everyone's jumping on them. Yeah, because yeah. they just because do, cause they do it every week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because it's too exactly. expected. Yeah. So you know, you know, you've got that, and I just think, yeah, look, this is this is. I think for a lot of F1 fans, look, you know, I'm I'm older. I I lived through. Schumacher, of, you know, at Ferrari, I lived through Mercedes. You know, I, dominance isn't a new thing no, in F1. No, yeah, no, it's not. And and also, it like, always just happens in every sport. It happens, and like we said, yeah. like if you came into the sport in 2021, was your first season, 
it will not get better than that. <laughs> you are spoiled, aren't like, you? You are spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. Like, let me tell you now. I'm yeah. actually jealous of those like, people. I'm so <laughs> jealous. If you came into the sport and you had Hamilton sure versus Verstappen, yeah. like then, equal yeah. points, like it's honestly, that is a madness. No, I would hate yeah. to be that because then there's no... There's nowhere to yeah, go. Yeah. No, in fact, it's I only that. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, there's nowhere yeah, to yeah, go, but also... At least we had a build-up. We got to that. It was like, I True, very true. Like, honestly, like it's... It's, uh, I, I, yeah, this is just, this is F1. Sometimes there's boring races. Sometimes there's exciting races. But that's Some, sport, isn't it? Like, that's not, sport. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's kind of like, not, sometimes you get 4-3, sometimes you get 0-0. Th sometimes yeah. it may be good, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's good. Right, well, Kevin Magnussen, right? Pole, Brazil. Yeah. What made that so special was because that was so, like, it was in a house and it was nowhere. If every season you had every driver... Have being able to compete to. for wins. Yeah, yeah. Like, on the face of it, you think, oh, that'd be sick. Like, everyone could potentially win. But actually, part of the story of sport is the underdog. You would never get an underdog story mm, if yeah. everyone was competitive. Like, I did a video about this, talking about, like, m my ideal would be you've got three car three different cars with, again, probably lead drivers of each, and then them three fighting for a championship. Kind yeah, of yeah. what we had in 2010, really. Like Lewis was somehow on the back of it with with McLaren yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that kind yeah, of season yeah, yeah. where you've got that that pool of like competitive at the front, and then everyone else, it's just a free for all for the rest of the points. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, we're not yeah. far. Like right. that's basically what we have now. If Red Bull didn't exist, yeah, fact, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I do. I, I get. Which I get is like, oh, if but well, I know, no, but I, I it actually, if, if my nan yeah. was a bike, she I'd what was it? What's like, the thing? What, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my nan was a bike. But yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people do watch F one not just for the the pole, like the number one. A lot no, of people of course, do watch it for the, the mid kind of battles and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like that's probably my favorite part. It's like seeing like who picks up maybe it's like two points or you know the one point kind of spot. And I think. Obviously, Red Bull run away with it, but the rest of it is really close. And today, like, well, there was like four cars within like what, like two, three seconds uh, at, at, towards I, the end. I, I still cannot tell you who the fuck is the fifth quickest team on the grid at all at this point. Mm. Alpine, McLaren, Albon was sixth. Yeah. For Logan, half the race, Albon before he's been the rest. Yeah, yeah, qualifying. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's just so many options. How ha Hulkenberg just finished seventh. Yeah. He could have been third in a house. Magnussen was yeah. actually doing all right before he binned it as well. But that kind of backs your uh, theory where you were saying the rest are just there. Free for all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, yeah, exactly. So. I, think, I, think, I think it shows as well. In F1, it's harder. It's easy to go from like 10th, easier to go from 10th to 5th, right? Mm -hmm. Like Aston Martin. Of yeah. yeah. But yeah. that gap from like to get to the front, like the gap for Mercedes to get from like there, from where they are as let's say second or third fastest team yeah. to first, yeah. especially if that gap is like a second a lap, true pace. Well, I think part of it's like, like law of diminishing returns. Yeah, right, right exactly. Right, you could, you could do you like- more you could, to gain at the lower end. Yeah, you've got more to, exactly that. Thank you, Tomo. So like, I think You're that's welcome. what we're, I think that's what we're <laughs> seeing with the, the regs is that we do have a very close midfield. Remember, like qualifying yesterday, there was like tenths of a second between like and, yeah, until Max has lost. Uh, yeah, yeah. People, right? people were going out in Q one in nineteenth by like a tenth. Yeah, no, it's, it's like it's what? Crazy. <laughs> it's like esports. It's crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the regs are doing its job up to a point. I think, I think you were saying, let's give them some time. Yeah, I think we let's, need to give it to the end of this year. Let's give it to the end of the year. Does the aero, um, does the development time make a difference in people being able to converge at the front end, front end of the grid as well as the back end? Because that's really what it's about. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll see. If it doesn't, then maybe we have to increase the, the you know, the development uh, time scales. The range. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And maybe. like, but you know, those are the things that they can do. But because look, at the end of the day, right? Red Bull have this amazing car. They've got a great. Their foundation is solid. Mm. Now the onus is on the other nine teams to use their increased aero and all that. It's like a it, blueprint. Like, like it's their responsibility yeah. to now catch up. Like yeah. it, it's on them. It, it, you can't like mandate it in the rules. Otherwise, well, what's the point of having this whole technical aspect? Like you're giving these teams uh, 
a, a degree of advantage. Yes, Red Bull have the historical kind of, you know, the facilities and all that, right? That's not I in the cost. That, yeah, exactly. What are you I said we don't have the capacity. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> we don't have the capacity. I said we don't. <laughs> That's what you said. And I was like, hang on, did you say that? <laughs> sorry. But no, because it's like, it, uh, and yeah, it, it's on the other teams to, to, to make the most of it. Just because you get lots of aero time doesn't guarantee, like, yeah. You're going to be able to, to. I mean, Williams have had more than Aston Martin yeah. for a good couple of seasons in a row. Mm. But Aston Martin are the one who've taken a massive jump up, even relative to like they're clearer Ferrari. This time last year, you had Vettel spinning and just been in it, yeah. and, and you had Stroll and yeah. Latifi crashing into each other in in, in practice yeah. in yeah. Australia. Yeah. Aston Martin had a shocker this that time. That was the level. That now, was actually now the level. Third and fourth. It's like yeah. you were saying in the live stream, Aston Martin have like exposed like a lot of teams. They have. They? they have. I think Alpine and McLaren. There's no especially. hiding now. Uh, that, if what's, you're what's your excuse? What's yeah, your excuse? Yeah, if you're McLaren, you actually don't have an excuse now because, no, like, don't. Aston Martin have literally gone from being at, what, like, ninth best on the grid to just, like, yeah, we're cool. we're probably second now. Mm. 